Okay, everybody, working on Land Cruiser again today. This is going to be a video on how to time the VE style fuel pump on a 1HZ Toyota engine. Now, if you've been following my engine rebuild series, you would have seen in part six I did the timing. Now, I stuffed it up. Basically, <laughs> I've tried to get it to between 0 0.03 and 0 0.09 on the dial indicator. Somehow, I managed to retard it and put it the opposite side of the zero. When in fact it's actually meant to be one between 1.03 and 1.09 so my engine's been running pretty rough since i've got it going again and blown a lot of white smoke when it's cold so and that'd be because the fuel's being injected after top dead center so when it's going back down um so what i'm going to do is time that correctly and hopefully that solves my problem so i'll show you what i'm up to here with uh my dial indicator all right so what i've got is my dial indicator and adapter screwed into the back of the fuel pump which goes in between all of the injector lines there's a bolt in there with a copper washer remove that and you screw your adapter and dial indicator on in the adapter you can pick up on ebay i think i paid like 70 bucks or something for it um can't remember the exact part number if i find the part number i'll put it in the description um so what you do is you get that screwed in you get your timing on your engine to top dead center and then what i'm going to do is what I've done is I've pulled the fuel line that comes across to here off. Um, I've taken all the hoses off to make it just a little bit easier. I've pulled the battery out as well, give you a bit more room. There's a 17 mil bolt down the very bottom that bolts onto a bracket onto the engine. You need to loosen that. The two nuts, one there and one on the other side, you need to loosen them off a little bit. You don't want to so loose that the fuel pump can turn because um, it's loaded, it'll move by itself. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rotate the engine in reverse from top dead center until the dial indicator stops rotating. When that stops rotating, I'll zero the dial indicator and then I'll rotate the engine back around to top dead center and I'll check the adjustment. Now, if I'm right, it's going to be between 0, 0.0, it'll be about 0 0.05, I think, whereas it's meant to be one. So we're going to have to adjust it so the dial indicator does one full revolution back around to that point and then we'll be right to go so i'll rotate the engine around now and you can watch the dial indicator okay so i'm going to rotate in reverse now just keep going slowly until the dial indicator stops moving There we go, it stopped moving just about there. So now I'll zero the gauge. That's zeroed. Spin that back around to top dead center and I'll have a look at the movement. So just bring that back around to top dead center. We need to get the little timing mark on bang up. Alright, that looks like that's bang on top of the dead center. It looks like that's Yep, so that's pretty much where I had it set yesterday. So now what I need to do is loosen the nut off there and spin that around a bit further to between 0 0.03 and 0 0.09 so I'll loosen that nut off now and I'll spin that around So that's where I want it there, at about... One point... Oh, I'll get it there. About 1.05 is where you should have it. It's pretty close to the middle. So then you just tighten that nut back up. 
and then what we will do is repeat that first step again I'll rotate it back around till the dial indicator stops moving then rotate it back around to top dead center and make sure that that reading is still the same okay so just rotating it back around just until the dial indicator stops moving again Stop moving. It's just a bit on the zero, so I'll spin it back around again. Yep, and that's pretty close there. Alright, so it's a tiny little bit of air, but that's because you can't be exactly bang on the timing mark every single time. So it might be a whisker out, but that's pretty close. So what I'll do is, once you've done that and you've got it to that point, you want to tighten all the platoon locking nuts back up and tighten your bolt up and you can reassemble everything but I'm going to spin it around a few times just make sure that it's going to be all right after the engine's spanner every few times and then I'll come back and recheck it all right so I got the timing set up had it running there for a minute same as it sounds all right the real test will be on a cold start up in the morning because that's when it seems to play up the most but anyway that's basically how you can adjust the timing on a 1OZ fuel pump. Um, if you don't have that tool and the adapter, I wouldn't go try on it. I'll take it to, at some sort of diesel shop close at hand or someone who's pretty well knowledgeable on those sort of things. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them if I know the answers, of course. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.